Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning everyone on this Thursday. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Out of Flint this morning, I-475 is closed from Davison Road to Dort Highway due to reports of a hazard in the road. The call came in around 3.30 this morning. Several departments responding, including Michigan State Police. We have reached out to MSP along with several other agencies about the incident. Stay with us for those updates. And a piece of Saginaw history, the aging Potter Street Station on the east side may serve purpose once again. The Saginaw City Council approving the first steps needed to turn the station into a historic district. The designation would open the deteriorating building to grants and preservation initiatives. The city's move to preserve the building coincides with the Saginaw Transit Authority's interest in using the building as a transportation hub. Tuscola County Sheriff Glenn Grant says they are in desperate need of a new county jail and have been for a while. Now he's hoping a millage to fund the project will be passed by voters in November, costing taxpayers $44 million. If passed, the estimated millage for the first year would be 0.98 mills added to residents' property taxes. Election day is November 8th. All right, here's Matthews checking out your forecast for today. Thank you, Blake. We do have a comfortable day ahead of us. We're back into the lower to middle 70s by this afternoon with lower humidity, too. We do see a warm up once we head into the weekend, so 80s taking over even on your Friday, too. But again, for today, lower to middle 70s with upper 60s on that eastern shoreline of the thumb. So your hour by hour does show partly to mostly sunny skies for today. We stay dry all through the daytime. Afternoon bus stops are in great shape, and even once we head through the evening and the overnight, we're also still partly to mostly clear. Then on your Friday again, a partly to mostly sunny day should have some more high clouds, but it will still be a fairly bright day. Your hour by hour also into the Saturday and Sunday time frame shows isolated showers Saturday evening, but I still think a lot of the daytime on Saturday is dry, but it is on Sunday where showers start to turn more widespread and the period where they should be most widespread looks to be on Sunday night towards early Monday morning. Sunday forecast does show clouds decreasing pretty quick though on Monday after those showers move out in the morning and then Tuesday and Wednesday looking pretty bright next week. Trending a little cooler, still in the 80s though, 83 on Tuesday and 86 on Wednesday. Before your Friday again, going to be very similar to Thursday, just warmer up to 83 for the last day of the work week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.